Hey, what's up guys, Paulo Munoz here. Welcome back to this mini workshop on the Adobe 3D tools in action. So in the previous videos of this workshop, I showed you how to build your own custom PBR materials using 3D Sampler, but now we're gonna move on into applying those materials into our objects or into our scene using 3D Painter. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so here we are inside Substance 3D Painter, and I'm gonna show you how to set up the entire scene with the assets that I provided as, as part of the resources. So they are free to download, so you can follow along if you wanted to, but you can do this as well with your own assets and your own materials. It's, it's more about the workflow and how to apply those materials. Um, that's gonna be the, the focus of this part of the workshop. Now, before we start with the setup, I'm gonna jump back to 3D Sampler. And this is the material that we worked in the previous video uh, because we haven't saved it, right? So in the previous videos, I've been just going to file and save, and that basically saves the entire project. So if I go to project, you have all of the different materials that we've been working on that we've created um, that we can then put together in Substance 3D Painter. But if you want to use this material somewhere else that is not 3D Painter, you can totally do that. You just need to export them as maps. So if you go to the share section, you can click on export as. And if you go here to the format, let's click on that. You can export multiple formats in, you know, different images in multiple formats. So you can click on PNG, for example, select which maps you want to export, uh, specular, metallic, all of that, and click export. And Substance 3D Sampler is going to export um, individual maps at the resolution that you chose. So in this case, 2048. Now, I just wanted to show you that you can do that, but there is a much easier way to work between 3D Sampler and 3D Painter. And that's the reason I'm going to show you this, because if I select the SBS, sorry, the SBSAR, that's the native format for um, 3D assets or Substance 3D assets. So I'm not going to export this. I'm going to cancel that. And instead, what I can do is click on Send to Substance 3D Painter. And because I have it already open, um, all I need to do is click on that and it will appear here in my project. So that's the only reason I wanted to, to mention um, how to save this before I move forward. But we're going to concentrate on 3D Painter. Now for the next part, I'm going to show you what comes with the resources of this workshop. These are free to download, as I said. So the Porter Low, this is basically the, the set of, um, of meshes. You can arrange them in any way you want for your, um, for your scene. The mesh maps, these are very important for the next stage in Substance 3D Painter. So I'm going to show you how to um, apply those in a way. And the workshop materials that essentially all of these materials that I um, that I had here in my in my project, I went ahead and I exported them as SBSAR so that you can use them directly. However, I'm just going to go ahead and use this um, Send to Substance 3D Painter as my, my go-to way to interact between the two applications. So let's go back to 3D Painter. I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop the pottery low FBX into the canvas. Let's move that out of the way. And I'm just going to keep everything very simple. So the default uh, options are just fine. I'm going to click on OK. And here we go. We can go ahead and rotate around. So these are all the assets. And as you can see, each asset has a different texture set. So you can, in the texture set list here, you can just select different, um, different texture set. In fact, let me just go ahead and go to Window, and I'm going to reset the UI. So this is more like uh, what you probably see, um, unless you have the assets at the bottom. But uh, anyway, this is just an arrangement of the of the of the three D space, basically of the three D um, workspace. All right. So what I'm going to do now is start setting up the base materials for each one of the assets, um, and then we're going to concentrate on tweaking those materials in the next video. Now, in order to make use of all the generators and all the good stuff inside Substance 3D Painter, we need to have the baked maps or the mesh maps. Um, so that is the process of taking the high resolution mesh and then bake it into the low resolution mesh. So in other words, if I go back to ZBrush uh, with this example, you'll see that I have this, uh, this mesh that has all these details, although it's pretty simple, but it has some details and it's pretty smooth uh, with 1.7 million polygons. And that is at the subdivision level number five. So if I go to one and enable my polyframe, let's actually change the color and material. This is what I currently have here in Substance 3D Painter. So I can go to the display properties and scroll down all the way to show wireframe. So you see it is a relatively low res mesh. I mean, it could be even lower than this, but again, this is just a, an example for a render anyway. So this is exactly the same thing that I have in here. So in order to keep 
this um, and this is probably more obvious if we select something like this glass there we go so in order to keep all of these nice details and indentations and carvings from the high resolution mesh into this very low resolution mesh which is again what we have in here we need to bake those maps i've already done that process so just to make it easier for you and we can concentrate on texturing and, and all of that so i'm going to show you how to um, apply those texture maps or those mesh maps in substance 3d painter so let's go ahead and click on textures and we're going to bring in the mesh maps so these are the folder that comes in the in the resources and you see i have a bunch of images and this set of images correspond to each one of these uh, texture sets. So the glass, the glass one, two, jog, and base or, or bowl. So I'm going to select all of them. And I'm going to click and drag them into the asset library, right? And let's go ahead and move that out of the way now. And this is the pop-up that we get. So I'm going to click on the top one, go all the way down to the bottom one, hold shift and select everything. And I'm going to click on Undefine to change what these resources actually are. So I'm going to click on Undefine and set them as textures because that's what they are, right? They are a bunch of textures. And that's it. We can set how you want to save these textures. So in this case, I'm going to import these resources to the current project that I haven't saved. It's a new project. So I'm going to select Current Project and click on Import. And now we have those textures in here. So we have Amino Occlusion, a Cavity Map, and Normal or Normal Map. We have the position and the thickness as well as the world space normal. So these maps allow you to play around with a bunch of different things in, in Substance 3D Painter, but we need to apply them to these meshes. So I'm going to go to the texture sets right here. And if I scroll down, let's actually move this. So, so in the texture set, I have the glass one uh, selected. So you can go ahead and hide everything else but the glass one. So you can press Alt-Q just to hide everything except the one that you have selected. And these are the maps that we need to add to this glass. So let's go ahead and select the ambient occlusion, the first one. Um, that's the first glass. So drag and drop that into the ambient occlusion. All right, so now we have an, an ambient occlusion. Let's do the same thing for the curvature. So click and drag into the curvature. Oops, let's do that again. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing into the normal. So click on the normal. Drop that in the normal. So now we have some nicer edges there. And I'm going to do the same thing for the position. So click on position, drop that into the position. So it's pretty straightforward. It's just adding, uh, finding the, the one with the right name, thickness map to the thickness, and drop it in there. And the same thing for the world space normal. The only one that you want to find in the folder is the select ID because that is more uh, for a mesh that is made out of multiple pieces and you want to assign different materials to it uh, for the most part. So um, there's no ID map, but that's all we need, right? In this case, you don't see much difference, but it is a lot smoother than before. Um, but that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and repeat in a, in a bit of a time lapse so that you don't sit here and, <laughs> and watch the entire process. So I'm going to go ahead and select this other uh, glass. You can do that by holding Control, Alt, and right click, and then Alt, Q to hide, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing, just, um, just wanna do one single map to show you the big difference between this if I, and the next one. So if I take the normal map and drop it into the normal, there we go. So we can hold Shift and right click to move the lighting around. So that's the, uh, the details that come from the normal map. Right. So I'm going to go ahead now and apply the rest in a bit of a time lapse and I'll see you in just a second. All right. So that's pretty much it. So that's all the setup that we need to do. So the next thing to in order to set this up is to bring in the materials that we need. And of course, Substance Painter comes with a, a bunch of uh, pre-made materials that are awesome. I'm going to go ahead and click on this X in here just to filter all the libraries and go to the materials, right? So we can just literally take this, um, this copper material, drop it in here, and it will already display something that looks pretty cool, right? So it's as easy as that, but obviously the whole point of this workshop is to build your own materials. So I'm gonna start doing the same thing, but bringing in the custom materials that we created. So let's undo that. And let me just show you from the resources that I shared. These are the different uh, materials that we created. So I'm going to start with the Mog one. <laughs> so that's the, the more psychedelic one, the one that looks like, kind of like a planet. 
and I'm gonna bring it into Substance 3D Painter. All right, so to do that, again, from 3D Sampler, let's go ahead and select the project, go to Mug 1. That's the one. Let's go ahead and click on Share, and instead of exporting, I'm gonna click on Send to Substance Painter. There we go. Now we can switch back to Substance 3D Painter, and in these libraries where we have the, uh, the materials, we can search, we can scroll down, and it should be loading at the moment. Or it might already, might already load. So we can just search by the name. So we can just type search, type mug01, there we go, mug01. So it already brings everything from a uh, sampler and it has the nice image and everything, the, the nice thumbnail. So that's gonna be for this glass. So let's just isolate everything, get closer here. And in the layer stack, let's click on that. By default, we have this layer that is just a paintable layer, but I'm gonna click and drag this material into this mesh. Done. All right, so that's the first step. I'm gonna do the same thing for all of the different materials and all the different um, meshes. And then of course we can come back and tweak it, but you can see that straight away we have something going, it's a little bit too strong, uh, but I'll show you how to tweak that. All right, so let's go ahead and repeat the same process. Go to 3D Sampler, and I'm gonna select an alternative to Mog1, and I'm gonna click on send to substance painter and now we can go ahead and search for oh here we go mog01 so i can just go ahead and drop that on top of it right and then later on we can just turn this on and off and, and play around with the different ones so this one i think is looking a lot more interesting actually than the than the first one but i'll show you both all right so i just wanted to drag and drop those in there so again just in an effort to save time uh, i'm going to repeat the same process to bring in the rest of the materials in here and I'll come back once I've done that. All right, so I went ahead and I imported all the assets um, that I had remaining. Just wanna mention that if you wanna import some of the materials that are part of the resources of this workshop, all you have to do is select them and drag and drop them into the materials and you get the same pop-up um, as we did with the textures and you just need to select base material from the from the dropdown, that's, that's about it. All right, so for this, um, this other glass, this other mug i'm going to use the ceramic uh, the blue ceramic so let's actually type blue ceramic um, or ceramic rough blue this is the one that we created so let's drag and drop that in there all right so again all of the details and everything else we can tweak that in the next video uh, i just want to make sure that we set up the scene uh, the other thing that we're going to use in this uh, or in this glass is the copper so metal copper uh, metal copper, this one right here. Drop that in there as well. It's looking, that's looking a little bit too intense, but all of that is going to be tweaked. Don't worry. Um, and just in case we want to, you know, play around with a few more things, uh, we can also bring in the ceramic rough orange. Drop that in there. So we have three materials, so three base materials in here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and select the jog as well. And for this one, we're going to use the ceramic black ceramic. Again, it's pretty intense, uh, but all of that can be tweaked and I'll show you how. Um, maybe also the black ceramic, just in case we wanna play around with the difference between one and the other. So one with the cracks and one without the cracks. So we'll do that in the next video. And the next one would be the vase and, or the, the bowl. So for that, uh, we're gonna use the terracotta, terracotta clay. So that's kind of like the base. Um, there's a, bu a bunch of other things that we can do and we'll do that next in the next video, which is adding all the materials and start blending things and of course, uh, tweaking the, the intensity of these materials. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of setup. Uh, we have everything that we need to start the, the actual blending of the materials and tweaking of the materials inside Substance 3D Painter. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.